two people are dead. Fuck, guess I gotta throw away this knife now. Hello, everybody. It is Blackjack. It is Ashhole. It is Barcadium. Welcome back to Danganronpa. It's been a while. We've gone away from it. Um, we've had some other things we wanted to do. Doki was our compromise on, like, how we split up today. So it's hilarious. Doki was earlier today, and I'm like, oh. And now Danganronpa started, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time. All right. Into chapter four, though. Brand new, brand new chapter. Yeah. Who knows what could happen? Leon killed Sayaka. I haven't done this voice in a while. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. I guess that was his fault. <laughs> then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Fumi killed Taka, and Celeste killed Fumi, and then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. Good summary, Makoto. Good summary. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. <clears throat> so now there's only five of us here. Sweet. <laughs> well, let's go party in Celeste's room. Only a third of the people, uh, only a third of the number of the people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. <laughs> That's true. Still... What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? <laughs> oh. Makoto. Are you okay? No. I, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. <laughs> in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? Because, I mean, well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. That's disgusting. That, that's like Deep Impact style. Meteor Impact. Extinction level uh, event combination of foods. Huh? What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. <laughs> She's we... adorable. <laughs> You know? <laughs> like when we get like when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When well, this is all over, I think I wanna get reborn for serious. Uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Reborn as someone serious. No. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Nah, not yet. <sighs> I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um... Huh? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits... I predicted it last night. I got really high after uh, the, 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 the what's-her-fucks burned, and uh, said, since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune-telling, anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 to 30% on a good day. That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. So, um, fortune telling isn't occult? You got it all wrong. Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put me in the same category as cattle mutilation. Cattle what? Cattle mutilation. Daniel Bryan used to use that move a lot. So, 
He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually, no, no, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. <laughs> it was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But... And before long... The end is nigh! The sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light! Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. I do not rem. I swear to God, this did not happen the first. I d I would have remembered this. I do not remember this. But this is something. This gives more, more, more ammo to the. He's high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair, and then still floating there. The entire burger started coming apart! One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand! Do you realize what that means? No! It means the burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in! What? Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. <laughs> what? What? And why you can't is trick me? Why is this important? So I stormed back into the burger place and got up the manager's grill and got up in the manager's grill and they totally admitted it. It wasn't a hundred percent beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. If you're for the occult or against it, you stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of how dare you. <sighs> well, you do stink though. That's the weed. That's fine. Huh? That's fine. Uh, um. Anyway, I what? hope. What? I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah, me either. I mean, I would never. All right, I already don't trust either of them. <laughs> of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. You're all liars. That goes for me too. I'm also a liar. <laughs> of course, I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally become united. But... Well, to be honest, I wish Byakuya and Toko were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without him, I say. God, that was enough yeah. to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Yeah. Fragility? Fragility? Fragility. <laughs> fragility. Okay. Tonight in Rumba. Who are those people? That's Sh Chihiro and that's Aoi. Oh, they just look so different. No. Aoi's especially. Yeah, artistic, uh, artistic style-wise, they do look different. Yes. Um, we began, uh, we began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what opened, uh, what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Whoa. Leave the area? Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So what's new? Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin. Oh, not that. <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin late. Actually, you know what? I should be able to quick transport there. Let's make this faster. So now that I'm on the third floor. Now that I'm on the third floor. Is it here? Yeah, there it is! Woo! New area! So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it! What is it? It's it! Yeah, there you go. You, you figured it out. It's the men's room. Don't dare stop men's room. It's it's right here. Look that's, in the mirror. that's that's where Donde Estad. <laughs> uh, I guess we can click on some stalls. 
Because they never stop to click. Really? Yeah, Boring. Just the bathroom. Um, I saw 404 showed me the episode um, of us doing the investigation when Celeste just kind of comes out of nowhere. Uh -huh. My god, my reaction was big <laughs> to it. Like, I jumped, and you could, uh, if you look in the video, oh, this yeah, part of it, the... well, no, the green suit just going away, so you can actually start seeing the back of the, like, the actual back of the wall. It was really funny. <laughs> no good. The door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. Hmm. But what's behind? But what's behind the door is a total mystery. I mean, it says data center. What's behind there? Idiot. <laughs> Ooh, it's a red room. Oh, what's this? Oh, four A. It's a classroom. Oh. Hi. Hi. One day I saw One day monster. I saw a Sorry, go ahead. Sing oh, it. Okay. You can sing it. No, sing it. <laughs> you can sing it. You, no, you said it for okay. One day I saw a Monokuma in class. La 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 gobble gobble. <laughs> that, that, Very normal. Yeah. Very <laughs> normal message. <laughs> I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. You need a key. Needed the key. Don't. Oh, so just the. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give us coins now? No. no. What about the other clock? Will you give us coins? We like the coins. We like some coins. Yeah. Coins, please. All right. Well, well guess that. This classroom uh, sucks. <laughs> yeah. Any place with hero in it is not the place to be. Four B. If you put it before, uh, backwards, it's B4. Wanna read? Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school store. I'm very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die of loneliness. Peek! <laughs> oh, when he's like that, he doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> coins? Come on, he left a message. There's gotta be coins here. Coins? There's cosine and... Dang! Okay, we finally... Oh god, we have so many coins. We have not spent them since the very first time we went to the store. Yeah, no. We should probably spend some coins. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah. Uh, oh, hello. What's that? Oh, we can go in here. This is... Oh, it looks like a lab. It's where science happens. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. Oh, there's your answer. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do determinative damage. Oh, you worry, Wart. Hey, listen, he watched um, Will It Blend once. <laughs> he knows. Don't breathe this. <laughs> um, what's over here? It's a remarkably, uh, remarkably big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. What's wrong? Ah, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Uh... Okay, Hina, just chill out. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have protein Zymax. I don't know what that is. But what's that? <laughs> hey, high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh, oh yeah? It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? All right. Uh. I guess we talk to him. I guess. That sounds like an idea. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't watch. Hey, Makoto. Huh? You need something? No. N no, it's nothing. You sure? Okay then. Sakura. Sakura was lost in conversation with Hina. I never. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? N no, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, I'm guessing that's Area Five. Whenever someone else wants to kill someone, I'm guessing. 
Ooh, Ooh the headmaster. headmaster's office. Hell Ooh. yeah. The name plate on the door says headmaster's room. Yes, open the door, please. The headmaster's room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Damn it. It's uh, locked. Locked. Why aren't the doors locked? Damn it. <laughs> um, let's see. What else is here? What? Wait, what did I just pass? Office. office. It's, it's just office. What kind of office? Ooh, it opens. Oh, we got in. This is the office. <laughs> but of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we normally be able to rely on. Uh, what's that on the floor? Yes. No, it's there. Oh, okay. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Sayaka had black hair before? Celeste, Tafumi, and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are now dead. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. That everything seems about right. Celeste yeah. wants to kill Hafumi. Hafumi's running around with that silly camera. And but Sayaka, I don't understand why you're black. That's that's you're supposed to be blue. The, smiling the way you don't uh, expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I guess that was Sayaka during her emo phase. Oh yeah. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. Well, maybe it wasn't so terrible. So does this mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? Th no, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> You're fake! Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... Um, if there is such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Or is it a fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so easy to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... Um, but it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> hmm. Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case... Dot dot dot! <laughs> uh, what about the, the flowers? There's a flower on this desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Yay! Oh sweet, there were coins inside them. Um... It's either the yeah, so got. Like multiple plants you can click on? Yeah. And it, it looks um, like they all say the same thing. Um, okay. and then the, it that's plant, it. Plant, screen, and the camera. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Alright, let's I get it. I wish we could click on the box, like the box on the floor. Is it looks like it pops like it yeah. pops out so much that you're like, oh, click the box. Yeah. No. It's not a clickable item. Okay, so that was the headmaster's office. This is just a regular office. And then that'll take us down. Oh, hi. Oh, wait, no, 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 because this is where the bathroom is. Bathroom. That's where the data, data lab, lab is. What was down it's here? Over. Music. Ah, oh, interesting. Is it on its own? Oh. That's nice. This is. The music room? 
It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Jack, look on the piano. I'm gonna play piano. Is this a grand piano? It seems really odd. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. Nice coins! It's not completely useless. <laughs> uh, is there anything else to just Kyoko and the stuff? Yeah, uh, that's it. Okay, we'll talk to Kyoko. Fine. Hey, you know, you haven't told me what you think yet. About what? What I think? So, about the secret room in the boys' bathroom. I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking through, uh, looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? You! Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of fly, uh, files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry. I know how important those were. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I have suspected the Mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that would reveal the Mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. That's not that's how, that how that works. works. <laughs> that's, 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 that's like, that's no. What does she think a boy is? <laughs> we're in 2019. Actually, no, we're in 2010 at this point. But fine. I Actually, I don't remember when this game time-wise takes place. Yeah, I know when it was like released. Or... When it was released, it was like early 2010, mm. I believe. Sounds about right. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko saw a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So, I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? No. She made it sound as like she was asking, but it was clear I shouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. So now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Fine. I wet the bed when I was in fifth grade. <laughs> Am I wrong? Th that's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Uh, um, well... Hey, we're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt that- Whoa. Oh, right. Uh, there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have any evidence for it. Tell her. Okay. I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much more worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubts about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Tell her. <laughs> They're not gonna let me, are they? No. I haven't found conclusive. This That's... isn't this is this is not icy. You you can't you can't bug the game to be like, hey. I don't see why it's giving me an option if I don't have an option. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> like, I see that works. This does not work in Dog and Rompa. There's nothing worse than expressing your doubts. Uh, don't tell her. This is so stupid because it didn't give me an option. S sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Like, I wonder how we would have reacted to that in, like, when this game was released though. Because I wonder how, like, storytelling and visual novels worked back then. 
Like, just the illusion that you had an option. Mm. Like, it's like, oh shit, I could tell her. Uh, do it. And it's like, oh, I see. They're giving yeah. me the feeling. That's kind of cool, but the game, the feeling. Is, like, now we look at it and it's like, that's dumb. Mm. But would we look at that differently back then? I mean, I, I, I don't know because I'm, I don't know if that's actually true or not, but... Like, 2010-ish? Trying to think of, like, what I was playing then. Like, because, okay, so here's the thing. I'm playing other games from around that time period that do similar things. Mm -hmm. But if I play a game now, that doesn't really happen. They're not just going to give you an option where it's like, yeah, no, you can't do that. Yeah, they might give you something that ends up being kind of pointless because it's just for different flavor text. Yes. But does it change the plot? Yes. But there will be something. Persona, actually, you know what, to be fair, Persona kind of does that. Like they'll get well, but it's flavor text though, where it's just kind of like, pick the right one. It's like if you pick the wrong one, it's like, no, this is like, but it's yeah. never, but it's never like, a, oh, I can tell you or I can't tell you. Yeah. That. Correct. So that's your answer. Well, that's my third answer. However, but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry. I really am. That's fine. It's fine. No, it's not. Goodbye. Well, with those as a parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I guess I'll never have a girlfriend now. I think I made her mad. I've already taken a good look at things around here. And there's a lot to think about, but for now, I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Next time on Barcadium, I guess no one can protect me now, and I'll just have to <laughs> eat lunch by myself. We'll get attacked because we're a boy. <laughs> and that's what happens. To little boys. And I'm a little boy. <laughs> a lucky little boy, but a little boy.